Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny and welcome to my mile long yard sale haul. Can't wait to show you all what I picked up. So the weekend before Independence Day, um, my town does a little mile-long yard sale down this one stretch of road, and a lot of people set up. Um, church was having a sale, had some really good stuff for really good prices. Um, and yeah, um, I learned from my past couple years going to go the weekend before Independence Day, because Independence Day, like the actual day of the 4th, is a madhouse and everything is picked over, so... I decided I was going to go earlier this year, and I did. I went Friday, I think I went on Friday, and there were hardly any sales, and then I got up on Saturday early and decided to go down, and that's when a bunch of people were set up. And it wasn't even crazy, which was the best part. I could park on the street, didn't have to worry about anything. The only thing I can complain about are the fact that uh, I, uh, <laughs> I wore the wrong kind of shoes and gave myself some blisters. But that's the only thing I can complain about because I did score some pretty darn good stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out what I got, both new and old. So like I said, the church sale was great. I got some really good deals on things. This is a really cool item. This is a 1977 Fitz and Floyd bunny rabbit teapot. Um, I don't remember what I paid, you guys, because... I think they had tables for like one, three, and five dollars. But anywho, I, it was reasonable enough for me to buy it. It was Fitz and Floyd. Uh, one did sell on eBay for thirty six ninety five, so I'll probably list mine for maybe forty and take offers from there. This is a shave mug. I have had one of these before a long time ago. Really cool. It just kind of shows you the different uh, mush. I was about to say mush tash, mustache styles for the early 1900s. I don't think that this is actually from that era. Maybe it was probably from like the gay fad when like the um that kind of stuff came back in like the 50s and 60s. But that was cool. This is a uh Winnie the Pooh Christmas mug. I do not have luck selling mugs, be it my live sales or on eBay. They have to be really specific, like um, like some Starbucks mugs I'll buy if they're worth some money. But this one just doesn't do as well. But like I said, I was taking chances, and I don't really look stuff up when I am at garage sales. I just kind of buy it if it's cheap enough and then learn later that it's either worth it or not. So there was this one yard sale. I was kind of starting to get tired and ready to go home, and I said, what the heck, let me keep going, and I found a yard sale that looked like it was a bunch of people who either collected for years, or they just had booths and just decided not to do them anymore, because they were practically giving stuff away, and I'll show you what I mean. Like, this is really cool. This is just a, um, I think it's a toothpick holder in the shape of an urn. I did a little, a quick little lens search on that just to kind of get an idea as to what it was, because I didn't even know. But I mean, look at the price, 25 cents. You just can't beat that. And then I got these four, um, I think they're just like personal ashtrays. There's four of them here, all the same thing. Got all those for one price. I may save those for the next time Katie and I do an industrial sale because these are advertising and they're just fun. This is really cool. This is made of plastic. It's painted plastic. It says Madness. I don't know that this is necessarily from this company. It says, each piece is madness, an assembled work of wearable art created from treasures collected from the far reaches of the universe by the designer strictly for your wearing pleasure and her own personal amusement. So I don't know where that came from or if that is madness brand. I, I just haven't seen anything, but it is nice. Somebody would like to have that, I'm sure. When I tell you I found a bunch of smalls, I really did find a bunch of smalls here. There were some things that I purchased that I probably shouldn't have. I didn't realize the extent of the damage to them. But you live and you learn, and I got this stuff for really decent prices. So it is what it is. I'm going to try to go over these really quickly. So this is a Left in Hands um, bisque painted. Uh, some of the flowers are damaged on it, but you know what? 
Sometimes some damage is forgiven. If the you know the thumbs had been broken off, I would have passed. But these little flowers are so delicate, it's not even really that noticeable. I did find this big old dog here. Looks like a border collie. Probably made in Japan. Got a couple of spots with chipping, but not anything that was too, you know, too passable. This little blue pitcher here. I'm going a little fast, guys. I apologize. There's just a lot to get through. Found this little snowman here. Sometimes I forget how good prices are at yard sales because I just don't go to them very often. 25 cents. So this is a strawberry napkin holder. This is a Joseph original based on that mark right there. But I can't seem to find it other than through Google Lens. But I just knew it was Joseph based on the, the sticker. I did find this adorable Anarcho uh, walnut squirrel bank. There is the Anarcho mark. Very, very cute. Look at these, you guys. Sarah Coventry earrings in their original box. How incredible is that? I don't know if these people were dealers or if they were just collectors, but they had a lot of vintage stuff. It was unbelievable, and the prices were amazing. So I did find some salt and peppers. Um, we got some wheelbarrows. I don't know why the other one's over here, but it is. We got the wheelbarrows. This came from a different yard sale. This is just a little duck planter, toothpick holder. We got some Scotty dogs. Here's a kitty cat, probably bone china. I love these anthropomorphic apple salt and peppers. Those are oops, really cool as stuff falls over. Uh, we've got the Betsy Ross and uh, I don't know who that is off the top of my head. I'm having a CRS moment. But yes, we got those salt and peppers. It's either Thomas Jefferson or George Washington and Betsy Ross. I don't know. They're made by Inesco, I think. Yeah, I have it because I have a set of those. We got these angelfish salt and pepper shakers. I'm going to just say salt and pepper shakers. There's a ton of them here. <laughs> this is a three-piece uh, singing angel set, ceramic. These look like bass. These are made by... Who are these made by? Relco. These are Relco. Got this guy here. I don't know what the heck he is, but he was interesting, so I bought him. There's also a horse. This was a really good piece. Uh, one of the churches that's on the street where this, the uh, yard sale was had a bunch of stuff, and there was this is a piece of Fenton, as you can see. It was only a dollar, you guys. Couldn't believe that. Um, so I haven't done my research on that cat yet, so I will look that up just to see what it goes for. But this stuff should be coming to you all on a future sale. I can't wait to offer it to you all. Uh, some things will be for eBay, so just be on the lookout for it there. Got this piece right here. This is just one of those rooster, um, rooster or chicken sun catchers. I got some of this stuff for really good deals, y'all, so you will be getting some of this for really good deals, too. Um, this is Armed Forces Tags. Pick those up at a, another yard sale. I know I have a bunny rabbit, and some people wouldn't own the rabbit's feet because of that, but you know what? At the end of the day, those old ones, people like them. Uh, I'll probably put that in my junk jar. Oh, here's another Scotty dog. I love these. Next to the anthropomorphic apples, these ones are probably my favorite. The Hugging Devils. So that's probably something I'll end up keeping. But those were really, really fun to find. So talk about a bunch of salt and pepper shakers and miniatures, you guys. Wasn't that crazy? But there's more. So I did find this fairy lamp, and I found it to be really interesting. I have not seen this one before. I did try to look it up. I don't know if it's party light. Although it doesn't say party light inside, and I'll show you exactly what I mean after I show you all the rest of the stuff. But there is one flaw on it, and I'm going to show it to you all, and I didn't think it was that big of a deal. It's right here. So I did take my uh, 
finger to it, my nail, and it did get caught in there, so that is an unfortunate piece of damage, but it's going right on here. The shade covers it up. You don't even see it, so I don't think that that's too much of a deal breaker because the shade is not chipped, and there's not any chunks of the glass out of it, so that's why I went ahead and picked it up. Found this nice little beaded purse. I like the shape of it. My grandmother, back in the day, used to have a bunch of old purses hanging from her closet doors. So anytime I see those, I think of her. Here's another piece that I thought was really cool. It's like almost like an Aladdin genie lamp. It, it does have some damage, and let me show you all where it is. It's that little chip right there. And again, I did not think that that was a deal breaker because you put the lid in and it doesn't even show it. The spout is in good condition. It is a very neutral color, almost like a beige, like cream. So I went ahead and picked that up. Let me know down below. I know that we do pick things up with damage if they are not significant. Like if the spout was chipped on here or this had been re-glued, I would have not bought it. But some things like that little broken piece on the inside where the lid sits is not a big deal, at least not to me anyway. I did get some compact. This one doesn't, it does not say who made it. Uh, it says Rex, Fifth Rex Avenue is what the little puff says. So that's really cool. This one is made by Stratton, Stratton, England. This is a really cool one. This one looks like a little mini purse. Let me open it up real quick for you all. Come on now. There we go. This one's Cody. I love the uh, the purse style of that one. That's really cool. And then we got this one that is a mother of pearl. And I don't see a maker on that one unless I open it up. Uh, Mar Hill, genuine mother of pearl. But that's probably just talking about the, the inlay. So those are some more fun finds. Alrighty, moving right along. This is really cool. This is a Cocktail Biscuits tin. Um, by assortment, or by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, Huntley and Palmer's Biscuit Manufacturer. So these are English. Doesn't say a year. That's really cool though, nonetheless. I got this John Varvatos uh, cologne set. I can't remember if I smelled them. Um, I do know that they it goes... I think it's a really good brand. I can't remember where they sell it, though. But went ahead and picked that up. This also came... I bought this at the same sale as the uh, that set right there. Um, this, I don't think, is anything. I think it's a knockoff of, like, Polo Ralph Lauren. So that might just end up being donated. This came from the church rummage sale. I usually steer clear of souvenir items, but this is for Ocean City, Maryland. This isn't that far away from me, and I love the nautical graphics on it. So that was relatively inexpensive, so I went ahead and bought that. And then I found two Whiting and Davis purses. This one's like very heavy, meshy, beady, really clean inside. This one, unfortunately, I didn't realize that the threading was loose on it, so you can see the sequins are uh, a little bit disheveled on here and are sagging. Um, I might see if I can maybe have my mom see if she can restitch it or something. She's good at that. I didn't realize this one was in worse of shape than I thought, but you know, old stuff like this, some of it survives, some of it just doesn't. So I'll see if maybe my mom can fix this for me, and maybe that'll increase the value, well, bring it up in value a little bit more. I haven't done any research on these. I just know that Whiting and Davis is quite desirable. All right, and to conclude my mile-long yard sale haul are these last three items. I did find a bottle of Miss Dior Eau de Parfum for two dollars it looks to be full maybe sprayed just a couple times this is very expensive stuff so i was happy to find that this is really cool i got this at that yard sale with all the uh, compact the fairy lamp and such jerris antiseptic hair tonic for hair and scalp here is the bottle super super cool and look it's even got a date on it for 1923 
How awesome is that? I love the minty green and the red and the white. I think that just pops on the bottle. And the last thing I'd like to share with you all from the mile long yard sale are these Disney vans. I did get these for 10 bucks. Um, they look like they've been worn maybe once or twice. I'm going to take a magic eraser to them, or at least to the white part and, uh, clean them up a little bit. Cause they don't, even the bottoms don't even look like they were worn at all. Maybe just once and they didn't like them. But look how much somebody paid for these. They paid about 80 bucks for these. So I know that I can probably get more than $10 for them. So folks, that is everything that I would like to share with you all from my trip to the mile long yard sale. Let me know down below in the comment section what were your favorite items. If you see something that you are interested in purchasing and I say it's for sale, you can email me about it and I will quote you a price if you would like me to hold it for you till my weekly live sales so that way you don't have to pay too much for shipping. That is not a problem whatsoever. I can do that for you. And thank you all so much for watching.